Hi everyone, this is Billy. I'm very happy to introduce to you my new version of FluvWav. So this new version, is I have changed the design of the floating piece of the FluvWav by adding the bottom. So now it's a vacuum with both the top and the bottom all covered with plastic. That means it can fix the problem of uh, the water getting inside the floating bed of the flow valve and that uh, reduce the buoyancy of the flow valve and hence make the flow valve malfunction. So now with this all covered vacuum floating piece, uh, the buoyancy of the flow valve will be the same. Whether it's flooded or whether you use tips to the side, because there's always air inside the flow valve. The other bit I change is about the, the mount. So this small cloth here. So I've been uh, trying to find different ways to secure the, the whole flow valve body with the growth bed. It's not too successful. So I find this one very satisfying. You have the notches and you can pull the box away and insert it in pretty easily and it will be very secure afterwards. You can stick this mounting piece to the growth bed to secure the flow valve. The other part you may notice is there's an air hole. The air hole is very important. Without the air hole, uh, the inside of the flow valve will be vacuum and then the flow valve will not be able to rise to the top. Let me get rid of the box to show you what's inside. So at the start, the flow valve will be at this position because there's no water. When the inlet is opened, nutrient comes through the inlet from the nutrient tank, which is located at a level higher than the flow valve, around one feet to three feet higher. And then the gravity pool will get the nutrient through the inlet, flow to here and enters the growth tank. As more nutrient comes through, the flow valve will gradually rise to the top. At this position, the silicon block here will seal the inlet. Flow of nutrient will stop. So the nutrient level stays at this around 2.5 cm until the plant gradually consumes the nutrient. At that time, the flow valve will drop and then the nutrient will be refilled again. Of course, it will not be that perfect all the time because as soon as the flow valve drops a tiny little bit, the nutrient will come through and then the flow valve will rise again. Our flow valve will likely fluctuate between 2.5 cm and 2.3 cm because of this phenomenon. This is not perfect. So the perfect flow valve is one that goes up to the top and gradually drops down to the bottom and then fill up again. So this type of flow valve is called high and low flow valve. It will be good for the roots of the plants to be controlled by such flow valve because every bit of the roots has a chance to expose to the air to absorb enough gas for the exchange it needs. So there's already some commercial product called Autopods available. I'm also trying to design one like this, but it's not too stable. There's a air flow valve at the top, that big one that is uh, rising, and then another inside water flow valve. So both need to be working in sync in the situation that is designed before it will be reliable. For our conventional cracky method of passive hydroponics, it's already quite good. If we keep the water level, nutrient level at around one, one inch, and I'll show you how I built this from scratch by playing the Standard Fusion 360 video.
I have printed out the 3D printer parts for my first valve. So this one is the box, and the size is 50 millimeter times 60 millimeter times the height of 37 millimeter. This is the nutrient inlet pipe, so it will go through this hole. Besides using this, you can also use this type of plastic straws that is used for balloons. And this one is more durable, so you can just punch through the holes here. Okay, and then the other thing you need is this flow valve. So I improved the flow valve so that now it's double side and it's vacuum inside. So even though it is heavier, it has more buoyancy. And also when your flow valve has been flooded or tipped to the side, the space here will not be injected with water, so the buoyancy will remain the same. So this is to improve Every time after the flood of uh, the tank, the flow valve will be malfunction. Okay, so it will never happen again with this solid, I mean the vacuum flow valve with both sides sealed. So the way you put it in is you push one side in first and then gently uh, pull this box a bit. It can uh, be squeezed in. Okay, and then next what we do is we get this silicon form from 3M. Okay, the size is this one is around 9 millimeter. The thickness is around 4.8 millimeter. So we need to cut a piece that will fit into this tiny box here. We unpeel the side with the tape sticky tape and then just place the side at the bottom and push into this tiny box here one is in you can insert the inlet pipe you may want to have some glue here to secure it otherwise it will move you can test if it's placing the right spot right? so after placing it you will find this there's a there's a pattern left in the silicon here so you can check whether that is in the middle okay so this is okay still not uh, outside the parameter and the final thing we need to do is to mount the flow valve to this uh, base so there's a small notch here that can secure in place just like that okay, once it's secured you can't pull it out without bending the base right? so next is to you can stick the base using some glue into your growth tank or secure it by some screws and then once you finish that you can uh, take it out easily by bending the the base mount slightly and you can take it out for maintenance and then you can put it back in again by pushing slightly in this is our testing setup that we have a big uh, water tank which is our nutrient tank on the left on the right we have a small growth tank very shallow growth tank uh, there's a pump there to simulate the absorption of nutrient from the plants and then on the right, there's the flow valve. It's connected by a rubber duct, the black one, uh, over to the nutrient tank to get the nutrient solution. And then it's a ruler to measure the depth of the nutrient. Okay, now we've set up the flow valve. And let's stick this mount into the growth tank. This plastic transparent tank is our growth tank. So we will uh, put the flow valve in. Okay. 
and then we'll connect the soft rubber pipe. A nutrient solution is flowing into the growth tank and it's rising. Now it's the maximum level, so it stays there and holds at that level. Now I've turned on the pump to uh, get rid of the water, simulating the plant absorbing the nutrient. And the cycle repeats again, filling up the growth tank through the flow valve. And the maximum level is reached and it stays at that level. So that's all I have for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like my work, you can subscribe and share my video with others. There are ways to uh, help support my work. Just look at the blog and thanks a lot.